In other business news, Johnson & Johnson successfully persuaded an appeals court to throw out a more than $223 million jury award to a group of former baby powder users who blamed their cancers on asbestos in the talc-based version of the product. Well, court ruled on Tuesday that the trial judge made a mistake by permitting the jury to hear inappropriate scientific information connecting the J&J product to the four plaintiffs' cancers. The verdict comes as J&J prepares for several upcoming jury trials on charges that company officials knew that its uh, talc contained tiny quantities of asbestos as early as the 1970s but did not warn the customers or the authorities. J&J claims it has been selling its talc for over a century without any problem and that there is no asbestos in it. While Eric Haas, a vice president at J&J, said, and I'm quoting here, this marks the third time in three years that an, that an appeal court has overturned outsized verdicts that asbestos lawyers secured by confusing and misleading juries with unscientific opinions, touting baseless liability theories. Now, the trial comes after a bankruptcy court ruled in uh, July that a J&J subsidiary could not use its Chapter 11 petition to force the $8.9 billion settlement of all pending and future talc litigation. A bankruptcy filing by J&J's LTL management division to stall litigation was ruled to be an improper use of the bankruptcy system by the court. By the end of the year, J&J plans to pull all of its baby powders made with talc off shelves around the globe.